Hey there. We're going to do the little bluebird. And the first thing we want to do is put the drop down, let it dry for his tail. So I'm going to have my blow dryer ready because I do not want this to be a big spot. We'll do that right. Oh, let's do it right there. I can always add more ink if I want to. Okay, now let's start. And my big tip, and this, this is, I t try to tell every time I do, um, where I'm wanting to put down one or two drops, is don't fill your bottle all the way up. Have it very little. For some reason, when it's filled up, it just shoots it out. And if you just want one drop or two, have it very little on the bottle. And I don't care how sprigly it gets down here with the flowers. I wanted it very controlled, but this after a minute, I don't care what it does. I just want plenty of ink down here where the feathers show up all the way and don't just fade into nothing. So I may be doing more of this than I did the last time. Wow, that was a cat. Hey. I've got an open window, so you know they're coming here. All right, I think I'm going to put more blue because I want some darker feathers down. Ah, a little bit more than I wanted. I'm not too worried about that blob because when I do the body, I'll absorb some of that. Ah, no. See this <laughs> silly thing. All right, let's let's continue if we can. Yeah, I definitely like this better. I did one. That was okay.
All right, one more, and I think I will have what I want. All right, so that's that. Let me get my blow dryer back out. I'm going to do, can you excuse me a second? All right, I'm going to do the body. Again, I'm going to put the alcohol down, try to incorporate some of this dot because I want some of that to move up. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. All right, so we are done with the blow dryer and the ink and the alcohol. So what we're going to do now is I'm taking a dark brown in the alcohol markers. And the best I can, I'm going to draw a little branch he's sitting on. Now, the good thing is it's going to cross this dark area. So it's going to kind of mess with that. I'm going to keep my dark toward the bottom. That little branch got broke off. I might put branches on it. I don't know. But for now. Maybe one there. Maybe one there. Okay. Get a lighter color. The cool thing about markers is they keep blending. So I can blend down here into the dark a little bit. I can go ahead and put some light here. So there's a lot of looks you can get from these. All right, for the orange, and this is when you need the paper that's under the cat. There we go. Put his little feet in. Now this is going to remove some of the ink underneath it, and I keep cleaning my brush off. Not my brush, my pen. Marker. All right, there's his little feet. Now we're gonna do, I'll use the sharp end for his little beak. Let's put him right there. All right, then I'm going to take black, put in a little eyeball, let's put him there, and I take a Fosca pen and put a little white dot there just to kind of bring it up a little bit, and there is our birdie, and there's our cat. <laughs> Y'all go have fun.